In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're gonna do a review and install of this 8-core Qualcomm Wireless CarPlay AI box from One Car Stereo on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go! Let's quickly go over what's included in the box. This product was sent to me by One Car Stereo, who is a professional car audio manufacturer and supplier specializing in car stereos. They have different products for various applications, allowing drivers to access Apple and Android apps on their car's entertainment system. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll remember that I have done a similar review and install of their AI box light and 2-in-1 CarPlay dashcam products. This 8-core Qualcomm is very similar to the 2-in-1 CarPlay dashcam with an upgraded OS and the company's fastest product at the time of this video recording. It still has Netflix, YouTube capability, it supports the majority of the Android and Apple apps, it has a SIM card and memory card inserts for added versatility. If you're interested, use my promo code the Mandarin for an extra 10% off on this product. I'll include the product links in the description box below. Here is the packaging that the 8-core Qualcomm AI box came with. It's nice and simple and highlights the features and capabilities of this product. It comes with this instruction manual, cables to power the AI box, and the 8-core Qualcomm wireless CarPlay itself. Like their other products, this feels premium, still relatively thin, lightweight, and seem very well made at first glance. Before starting this installation, let's first go over some important information for this project. This process is meant to be a simple plug and play with no special tools required. This instruction manual will have all the details on the product specifications and key definitions of the 8-core Qualcomm interface. This kit comes with this USB-C to USB adapter cable which we'll use to power the 8-core Qualcomm AI box. It also comes with this USB-C to USB-C adapter cable in case your car has a USB-C port. I won't be needing this in my case. For the 8-core Qualcomm, we'll need to remove the protective film on the top and the bottom of the AI box. Like their other products, this has a sleek design that goes with the stealth look I'm going for and comes with three slots for a SIM card if you aim to use this as a standalone rather than to connect to your hotspot, the power cable slot where the USB-C connects, and this micro SD card slot for your apps and files. Simply plug the cable with the USB-C and USB-N to the middle of the 8-core Qualcomm. Then plug the USB-N to the Tacoma's Android Auto CarPlay, and proceed with setting up your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi connection from your phone. To connect the 8-core Qualcomm wireless CarPlay AI box to your truck, you're gonna need your phone with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot turned on. You only need to do this step once and the device will automatically connect to your phone allowing for wireless CarPlay capabilities. Turn your truck on and follow the normal prompts on your entertainment system. Hit the menu button and keep an eye on the projection tab. This should change to CarPlay when the box is fully connected. This will take a couple of seconds during the first time of install as the device is adjusting to the resolution of your entertainment system. You'll notice that the leftmost green indicator light will blink slower when the device is connected. And the screen should automatically change to the new interface. Click Agree and Accept and proceed with setting up your Bluetooth. In the top right corner, you'll notice that the Bluetooth is grayed out so let's go ahead and connect this to your phone. Grab your phone, make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on and discoverable for this step, and head over to your connected device and pair a new device. Search for AutoKit T-Box AR and click Pair allowing to access your contacts and call history. Wait a couple seconds and your phone will be connected. Now you'll notice that in the main screen, the Bluetooth is lit up and connected. 
You'll notice that your phone's name will also be part of the device list. Do the same for the Wi-Fi hotspot, which will need to watch Netflix, YouTube, and access all the other apps. Go to the Settings app, click Network and Internet, and ensure that the Wi-Fi tab is turned on. Then simply go to your phone's hotspot and tethering, allow for use of Wi-Fi hotspot, and click and connect that Wi-Fi on your entertainment system. You're going to need to input your password for the first time connection. As you can see, the Wi-Fi symbol is lit up and ready to be used. You'll also notice that you'll have this new pop-up tab. This will allow you to navigate through your new interface. You can use this to go back to the home page, navigate to the previous screen, go through your open app list just like your phone, use this voice command, split screen like your laptop and computer, clear cache and go back to your Tacoma's main screen. Let's now test the apps included in this 8-core Qualcomm Wireless CarPlay AI box. Let's start with going over the general interface. You'll notice a very simplistic design with easy-to-see app icons. Very snappy and doesn't have lag when scrolling. You can also move these icons around similar to your phone and access recently used apps on the left-hand taskbar. Next. Let's go over the Android Auto slash Apple CarPlay app. Click this and wait a couple seconds for this to connect the first time. Then you should be taken to a familiar screen. Your normal Android Auto from the factory or Apple CarPlay if you're an Apple user will show up. It will have all the same apps you previously had and will function the exact same way, only wirelessly. You can also access the internet through the preloaded Google Chrome app. It's simple to use and a convenient option to search the web using the larger screen of your truck. You can also use the Play Store or App Store to download your favorite apps that are not preloaded on the system. Simply sign in and download the apps as you would on a phone or a tablet. Next. Go ahead and try YouTube. As you can see, it looks just like how you have it on your phone or tablet but on a bigger screen. You can still access all your notifications, sign into your profile, access your videos, shorts, and navigate through videos like you would on your phone. Let's try this video here. Ads are still there with the interface looking the same. We can skip this ad. In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be installing these very affordable accessories from Amazon. Sound comes through the truck speakers nicely, and we can fast forward similar to our phone. You can also choose other videos while one is playing. Let's try this one. In this video, we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step installation of these OEM And here is Netflix, the main reason I wanted this product. Simply sign in, click your profile, and navigate like normal. You have your movies, TV shows, and categories. Let's try this one. You can still hit pause, fast forward similar to your phone or tablet. No, no, no. Shoot. <laughs> you guys are never going to shut down the machine, okay? Sound comes through normally with no lag on your truck speed. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Let's now test how quick this product connects in real time and go over my final thoughts. Their website did not say how long the pairing process would be, so I'm timing my own experience here starting from me turning the vehicle on.
I got about 26 seconds for my first time after connecting the Bluetooth, and an average of about 15 seconds for the next couple of drives, which is fast and super convenient. As for my final thoughts, here are the things that I enjoy. I like that it was very easy to install and set up. As you saw in the video, a simple plug and play and once you've set up your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot for the first time, the 8-core Qualcomm Wireless CarPlay AI box will automatically connect to your phone on future drives. The product is also very competitively priced, especially given the fact that this is their fastest product at the time of this video recording. Additionally, One Car Stereo has an extra 20% off on their website. If you're interested in this product, use my promo code THEMANDARIN for an additional 10% off. I also like the versatility of this wireless CarPlay system. This allows for the addition of a SIM card capable to support a 4G LTE for users that want to have this as an independent product instead of using your phone's hotspot. Most importantly, I like that Netflix, YouTube, and a lot of the other apps work for this. This will be very convenient while camping or during events where you have to wait on your car. I also like that this is very versatile and works with a lot of vehicles that has wired CarPlay. Like my other experience with One Car Stereo for the AI box light, I found that they have amazing customer service and responds very quickly. Here are a couple things to keep in mind before buying. Please note that this device does get slightly warm when in use. That's normal. The package did not come with an included micro SD card for additional storage, so you'll have to buy this separately. This is surprising to me as their 2-in-1 dash cam that I previously reviewed had an included 32 gig SD card. Lastly, this device can work while driving. So please keep that in mind and make sure you're safe out there while driving and be mindful of all the loss in your location. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this one car stereo 8 core Qualcomm wireless CarPlay AI box review and install. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.